In problem number 34 of section 4.1, we're given two differential equations. Um, and they're identical except for the right-hand side. We have 0 here and uh, h of t, which is just some function of t. Now, we're asked to show that if y1 is a solution to the first equation and y2 is a solution to the second equation, then the sum y1 plus y2 is also a solution to the second. Now, in order to do this, we're just going to take y1, y2, and substitute it into problem number two, or to uh, equation two. Then we'll have y1 plus y2 double prime of t plus b, which is just some constant, times the function y1 plus y2 prime of t plus c times y1 plus y2 of t. OK, now remember that um, the derivative is linear, meaning that this whole thing is actually just equal to y1 double prime of t plus y2. I'm going to write it down here. Um, plus y2 double prime of t. And over here we have b y1 prime of t plus b y2 prime of t. And finally c times y1 of t plus c times y2 of t. Now, Remember that y1 is a solution to the first equation, which means that, well, y1 double prime of t plus b y1 prime of t plus c y1 of t is just equal to 0. That's exactly what we have right here. That part right there is just 0. And by a similar line of reasoning, we can see that uh, we know that y2 is a solution to the second differential equation, which means that this whole thing is just equal to h of t. So uh, we see that uh, substituting in the function y1 plus y2 uh, into uh, the second equation gives us 0 plus h of t, or just h of t so that it does, in fact, satisfy the differential equation, the second one, that is.